What would an amateur shoot if he were to play a professional's drive? Today, we are going to find out. Oh, well out. I didn't know whether to shout for and kill the cameraman then or not. <laughs> It's gone left on me. Oh dear. A, a mustard experience though, if you're a 15 handicapper. If you come to a golf course and don't do a bit of this. Yeah, you, you're not Are you really playing anyway. golf? Oh! So we've come down to Formby Ladies Golf Club and I have brought Luke with us, who's from the Up and Down Golf Channel. Pleasure to have you on, my man. Thank you very much. A 15 handicapper, and he's going to be playing my tee shot. So we're both going to tee off and then you're gonna play from my golf ball, and I'm actually gonna play from your golf ball to yep. see what kind of troubles we find ourselves <laughs> in, hopefully not. Lots. And see how the score differs from there. Do you think you'll shoot better? I do, yeah. yeah. I think I, I think I think like most people will think, if I had your tee shot, yeah. I'd be our handicap. Right, okay. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting, right, okay. I'm, I'm saying, round here you've not played here before it is difficult if i can get it in the fairways or there or thereabouts i would imagine if you're off 15 you should be shooting round about seven over for the front nine i think you'll shoot about four over right okay if you uh okay. if we get it going off your drives how do you think i'll go <laughs> oh i mean it really does dis it, it depends who turns up yeah there's a man that can Jekyll hit the driver hide. yeah and there's a man that can hit the hosel so if right. you get hosel <laughs> Oh dear. I don't envy you. <laughs> right, okay, so we're going to get stuck into it. Stroke play, nine holes. Let's see how Luke favours with my drives. Good luck. Let's do it. So, the first hole here at Formby Ladies, if you've not seen it before, it's a par four. It's 266 yards going straight down, Luke. Now, at 266, you should think I'll just knock it on. Realistically, that's a three wood or a hybrid for me. It's not like that round here. Okay. If you miss the fairway, yeah. it's going to be tough. So, we've got to be a little bit strategic. 266. What are you thinking for yourself? Uh, usually if I don't hit a driver, it'd be a two iron. Two iron, okay. Right, nice. And how far is driver going? Driver on a good day could be 250 with roll. Okay, nice. Right, well, we're not gonna give Luke any sort of tips on the way around as well. We wanna try and just see what he would normally do and I'm just gonna play how I would normally play. Let's, uh, let's get going, hole one. Let's tee off. So no warm up for you then? No. It's YouTube, you don't warm up on YouTube. No, you aren't, mate. <laughs> you, not, you don't know the rules. <laughs> In this weather, it should be. I'll tell you what, I'll take that as the pro's drive. Look at that. That is beauty. I'm just duping Fine, you. Um, you do me as well. You happy with that into one? a false sense of security, Matt. Yeah? They're only going to get worse from there, mate. Is that the one? Yeah. That's the one shot. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I take that quite comfortably now. Right, I'm going to go four iron. If we get a good one away, we might bounce it up near the front, but uh, go middle of the bunkers and let it just fade back into play. Strike. Take that one, Luke. That's the best tee shot I've ever hit down here and I'm not going to get to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. I'll, right. I'll take great running. pride in ruining it for you. Don't worry about yeah. it. <laughs> I reckon you could make five from there. <laughs> right, off we go, gents. So this is a, a debate I think I've always had with friends, like what would you shoot if a pro was driving for you? If it was McElroy, obviously, hitting for me, what would you shoot? And today I think it will be an interesting one to see how Luke fares yeah. out on this uh, tricky golf course. Having not played it as well, it'll be... Uh, It'll be an interesting one, and then to see how I go with your score. Comment down below as well. Who do you think is actually going to have the better score? Me playing Luke's drive or Luke playing my drive? <laughs> I'm exercising the uh, Michael Block hamster test, aren't I? Because he said if you had Rory McIlroy's... Yeah, legs, you are the new Michael Block. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Today I'm 50 yards longer. Let's yeah. see what happens. There we go. Very, very good drive, that, Luke. Thank you very much. Fairway found. You're oh. playing a Strixon AD33. I that? am, yeah. Cheap Do you always cheerful. play them? I am at the minute. Yeah. It's a good ball, to be fair. It doesn't break the bank. 97 yards. Good leave, that one. I like that number. Little 50. Let's see what we can do. The f you'll find around here, Luke, the greens are small, yeah. generally. Brilliant. And they're guarded. Okay. Yeah. So it, other than that, it's an easy golf course. Just don't miss a fairway. Don't miss a green. <laughs> and you find... <laughs> Right, 50 yards, wind's off the left. Oh, I've pulled it. Oh no. A little left. It's just off the green, that. Not my best work, but... Not a bad miss, though. No. You're I not in sand. Yeah. Local knowledge, that. <laughs> so, I've got 52 yards. 52 yards. Yeah. That now, is literally the best shot I've ever hit down here. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't hit from tee shots like this very often, I'll be honest. 
Uh, I'm going to sort of just pitch a 60 on there, I think. Aim for the centre and hopefully it gets a little bit of rollout. We've had a bit of rain. Yeah, has been. A bit of rain. Literally monsooning until we teed off, so there'll be so, a little bit of skid on the greens, I reckon. Yeah. Pulled it a little Bad. as well. Oh, well, it's tried coming back for me. That'll do. Middle of the green. Happy. H happy with that all day. Happy. Would yeah. you always go for 60 there? More and more, yes. Yeah. What about you? Um, looking at how it is from here, if that was me, yeah. I would have probably paid like my 55 or my 50 maybe. You've not got any... The only slight obstacle you had then was that little knoll um, in front of the green. Yeah. But everything... You could literally put it from here, couldn't you? You probably could, yeah. So like there, you've, you've hit a great pitch to be fair. Yeah. But if you caught that an ounce heavier, you know, it's front of the green, isn't it? Yeah. As well, if you get a 50 or a 54, if you had a little bit of run on it, yeah. at least you... Interesting, because I would say that's probably one of the stronger parts of my game. Yeah, if it's strong, work with it. Yeah. Yeah. So like the heavy shots are few and far between. Yeah. Yeah. Until, until today, obviously, when you're <laughs> going to see me play like an idiot. But yeah, that I'd feel fairly confident with. Yeah. Like, that feels an okay yeah. shot. So It's interesting to see how different people play. Yeah, definitely. But you're putting for a birdie, so, you know, job done. Can't complain. Sneaky green, this first one. A few little tears in it, little undulations. We're nearly pin high. Pretty relatively easy. Put this a little bit up and then down and breaks to the left. I think just cosy up here and take par. How upset are you that you've missed the green from 95 yards then? I mean, it's like missing your mouth with a spoon, isn't it? But <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't want to talk about that. <laughs> be okay if I roll this in, all will be forgotten. It's not a bad roll. Take that, take that. How do you want it? Do you want it in or out? I will have it in. I get berated for this constantly on my channel, but... I can see why people berate you. It's a terrible decision. <laughs> I just like it in my peripheral. Especially when the flag's leaning towards you like that. <laughs> a little too heavy. A little too heavy. No, it can come out now. Yeah. Thank God. Thank you. Well done. Well Thank held. You. Recovered. Slightly nervy or? A little nervy. Yeah. You don't like that length ever, do you? No. So. Very well done. Comfortable par. Yeah. In the end. Yeah. Well, two fours. Thought I might have nicked one. Off uh, two good drives there. Yeah. I think the next is going to be an interesting one. I can't. It's a tough tee shot. Ooh. Yeah. I can't promise you a good one. Yeah. I'll try. <laughs> we'll try. We'll see what happens. <laughs> on to the next. So Luke, who's doing this challenge with us, you're from the Up and Down Golf Channel. I am. Um, tell us a little bit about it before we, we kick off today's challenge. Yeah, so I'm a relatively new golfer, only been playing two years. Yeah. Uh, and it's sort of the trials and tribulations of the mid to high handicappers. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like we've said today, I spend a lot of time in interesting places on a golf course. <laughs> Maybe places you wouldn't necessarily yeah, see, see too often. Um, but basically the whole channel is just about us and how, how we play. So it's there to entertain, really. There's you and a couple of other guys, isn't there? That Me are and doing a few it. friends, yeah. yeah. You're not going to pick up any swing tips or anything from us, I'm afraid. But you might get a few laughs. So yeah, if it's your kind of thing, give Pop us a look. Pop on over, yeah. If you're coming um, and watching this on our channel, make sure you go over to the Up and Down channel. We have got a challenge coming on there later. Go and give them a subscribe. And we're going to get stuck in to today's challenge. Let's go. Right, the second hole. Gets interesting here, Luke. Right. Par five, but it's only 413 yards, which you would think, oh, short that. My kind of par five, Par that. five, yeah. The fairway, though, very narrow. Wind off the left today. You can see the flag in the distance. There's some bunkers. Yeah. The first one is at 260 yards down the left-hand side. Okay. And then they, they go up the fairway as we go on. Sure. There's some short of the green. You can see them just popping up too. But here it is literally get the ball in play off this tee. If you can do that, so then it becomes... And 13, you must take an iron then, yeah? Yeah, for me, like drivers are, if you could, if you rely on your driver, a little fade down the left-hand side is great, but if you leak it right, yep. it's, you know, real, yep. real dodgy yep. um, as well. If I hit four iron off the tee, I can still go in with like five iron. Yeah, 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 I like um, it. When I generally play on my own, so. Yeah. Yeah, today with the wind sort of down off the left, I'll probably hit four iron or rescue. Okay. Just to just to make sure I'm trying to get it in play. I but, might give you a first taste of driver then. Let's see it. What do you think? Yeah, you you <laughs> play your own game, my man. <laughs> I think what we 413. If I was realistically trying to get there in two. Yeah. 
Uh, I, I probably like... need a decent driver here, I think. Yeah. Didn't like the cackle after the... <laughs> that. Let's show you my driver. That filled me with confidence. A massive left to right wind for a man that's got a uh, tendency to hit his driver out to the right. It's not ideal. Just find best to keep yourself. Stinks of a slice. Don't like to use the S word, they'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have fun with that one, mate. Right. Some might uh, think that's tactics, but... Uh... Some would say you might need a provisional there. <laughs> uh, yeah, do you want me to hit one? I would recommend so, because yeah. that's in the uh, cabbage. <laughs> so it's interesting, because you talked through it there, and you said, you know, left to right wind, yep. not great for a player who's got a left to right shot, and you aim straight down the middle. Miss both sides, yeah. either. It's probably more common right, though. Like everything yeah. about this shot today is saying right, isn't it? Definitely, With the wind off the definitely left. Definitely more common. You yeah. know, it's a dog leg left to right. Yeah. It's making you want to go that way, but you're stood and you are literally aiming at the uh, the bunker that's slap bang in the middle of the fairway. Yeah. Didn't play the odds, is what yeah. you're saying. Well, it's, it's like you, you sort of know what's about to happen. Yeah. And you've not adjusted for it. Okay. So you've gone, right, I'm going to slice this most likely. Yeah. The wind's off the left, so that's going to yep. make my slice a little bit bigger. That's generally a shot I would see. So for me, it would be like, right, I'm going to aim at the left edge of the fairway. Yeah. Like that green post we can see popping up. And just give myself a load of room. Yeah, you would say, slice. right, well, then if I fade it, slice it, whatever, yep. it's got to move 60, 70 yards to get into the rubbish on the left yeah, as well. Yeah. Before it even got to the peak of its flight, it was yeah. already in that stuff, oh, it wasn't was gone. it? Yeah. Yeah. So even if you do slice, it's not a bad thing. You can just account for it yeah. a bit. That being said, I'm going to aim down the middle now and slice it. <laughs> that will do. That will do. Awesome hit, Hitting mate. these tee shots great and I don't even get to play them. <laughs> right, let's see where you can go. Hopefully we can find ball one. Is that a three wood you've hit there then? That's a hybrid, three hybrid, hybrid yeah. So even like with this shot now, with the wind coming there, yep. like mine started just at that green post. Yeah. So for you with an iron, I would be similar sort of line because the wind is going to hit it. Okay. It is firm out there, that wind, it's moving the golf ball. So you've got to allow for it. I just have like a total hatred for... I have a three hybrid and a three wood, but I just... Struggle with them. Oh my word, yeah. yeah success rate's probably somewhere in about 10%. <laughs> it's really not good. Oh. Well, you'll find that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be interesting. I be one, heck, one heck of a five though, won't it? <laughs> one heck of a five. Right, it's not looking good over here. This is like a, a must do an experience though if you're a 15 handicapper. If you come to a golf course and don't do a bit of this. Yeah, you, you're not Are you really playing money, golf? Right? Yeah. I don't think we're going to have much luck here because we're knee high. Yeah, it's thick as this. Knee high to a grasshopper. You weren't joking. We've wandered on slightly and I have found it. Um, Eyes like a hawk. Whether it is playable is the next question because that wow. is at the bottom of the burning bush. <laughs> <laughs> can you get a club to that? I don't think I can actually. Oh, I'm not so sure. If I was swinging, I'd just have to. Yeah, you might be able to punch it out. So, this is where questions come in now, don't they? Like, do you take an unplayable? This is where. Mid handicapper, higher handicapper, bites off more they can chew. Yeah, one hundred percent. Could get me seven iron out of there. I can no, tell you what I'd be doing. Yeah, I'd be swinging something at that. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. Sure. I'm thinking lob wedge, which isn't that one. My only other concern here is whether I actually snap the club, because I'm just going straight into the tree there, or bush, however you want to call it. Yeah, it looks pretty. Uh, it's going to come out, but pretty tough, doesn't it? Yeah. Nope. No. I've de-rigged the bush. I'm going to have to take an unplayable now. Yeah, well out. Back in the short stuff. Wow. I'm only one better off than the provisional where I am. <laughs> <laughs> right. You enjoy my hybrid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a little bit unfortunate for you, finding the, the sort of ribbit. It is, but, yeah, but you've got I'm to take it over in the middle of a bush, haven't you? Yeah. 166 to the pin. 166 weird flag. Stance, isn't it? Yeah, so your, bun your bunkers are like 10 shy of the green. Right, okay. So we're talking about 150, probably about 145 to cover them. Yeah. It's like a six iron. It feels a bit too much club, but 
I don't think I'm going to get. You, yeah, you've got long. Like long's a good option, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather hit it long than be in that sand. Oof. See, I'd say sloping lights. Like that's not actually a bad one. I've just made a meal of it. But if I, if my feet are like that yeah. or like that, game over. Yeah, it's hard. You've got to fight, like match your match your shoulder line to the slope. Yeah. So how would you practice that then? Fight is literally finding a slope and hitting balls yeah. from it. Right. You know, we, where I grew up at Warrington, we were lucky of a sense that the golf course was, it's like you play around a volcano, it feels like. <laughs> right. Um, but, yeah, just literally. Yeah, where you uh, can just get the practice. Yeah, I, I remember my dad's range, they had a mat that you used to, like, crank up and it would That's tilt in idea. different yeah. things. And then when I was at Trafford, we actually had just rubber mats that were um, like this. Right. So you'd do above your feet and below your feet. Yeah. Then it's knowing how they're going to play. Like, again, there, that ball below your feet, it's going to go right I was yeah. right-handed, but you were aiming straight again. Right. It's taking all that in, like, but that's experience, isn't it? Yeah. You know, every shot you play, you generally, like here, you've got a lovely flat lie. You're not going to get many of those generally, are you? No, that's true. I played a particularly slopey course a few weeks ago and it just ate me alive. Yeah. Really did. Yeah, it's learning to, like, adjust yourself to it, how the ball's going to react yeah. and, and working with that then. Change your yardage, change the flight. 85 to the pin, and the wind's going right. This will be interesting actually now because I'm hit, I'm there for four, you're here for three. Let's see what scores we end up. Is that right? I've hit one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is Sorry, your third. I have. Yeah, yeah. I have. Yeah. I forgot so I bombed you... the first one. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice one. This could go in of this. Get in. Bit, bit shy, short. but yeah, right bit down its neck, wasn't it? It was a nice line for a change. Yeah. And airborne, which yeah. helps. Well done. Good shot, Doc. Quite an odd feeling having hit a good one off the tee to now be stood here about to play my fourth shot, but it's an interesting test. I'm getting cold, mate. One, uh, 190 we've got. This would be this is a good game, I think, for a sort of mental attitude, like 100%. working through a bit of adversity. Right, 189. Go six iron, little fade, knock it on, tap it in. That's one heck of a bogey. I and mean, this looks a pretty daunting approach shot, this. Yeah, once you get past those bunkers, it's actually not too bad. They're yeah. Just green, basically, no, no trouble. Carry them, carry them. Just held up a bit, on it? Miss it. Oof. Get over it. Almost could it. Slappy. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Gonna see some short game skills there. Yeah. Quick eight for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see my bomb then. Righty ho, we've got a little bit of an awkward stance like we've just been discussing here. So this ball's gonna pop up a little bit more and potentially go left. So would you take less loft with that lie? Yeah. Than you yeah. yeah. It's like on how the slope is, it's yeah. adding loft or taking loft. You could you could counteract it by leaning into it okay. and play it like it normally would be, but I like to play with them. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, you've got more chance of digging yeah. that. Exactly. You've got to be committed with speed on that as well. If you yeah. can change your angles, you can still right. get your arc at the right time. Yeah. I'm going to go pitching wedge here and just pop it onto the front of the green and it should just trundle on down then. Oh. Bounced right on you a little. Yeah, a bit of poor aim on my Good part for distance there. though. All right, we've got a tester for our, uh, for our six. It's not what we want to do, don't want down here. Par five, 413. Shocker, shocker. I need it when I absolutely rattle it at it in a second. Birdie chance here. It is. Yeah. On Ooh. a monster par five. The excitement is palpable. <laughs> it's a nice roll. Oh, I never had the line. Good pace, Very well though. done. It's pretty good for me, that. Well done. Good five. Thank you. Easy five. Even with a, a top in there. Yeah, as long as it's moving down the fairway. Oh, they all count. I'm going to leave the flag in just because it's okay. You want me to attend it for you? No, it'll be all right. <laughs> if we go, I'll just have a head off if it knocks it out. Ooh, that's brutal. But I'll give you that one. Thank you. <laughs> right, scores have changed. I've just made a seven. Should have maybe taken a drop, but I couldn't really get a good lie. So seven 
and you're level par. I feel somewhat responsible for you, Seven. <laughs> I don't want to say you are, <laughs> but you did have something to do with it. <laughs> On to the next, right? Got to claw it back now, got to claw it back. Third hole is 130 yards of par three. I think this as well, this is a game, would actually be pretty good to play at home if you've got a mate who's single figures and you're maybe a mid handicapper, have a little, uh, have a little alternate of your tee shots and see how you fare at it as well. Right, 130, Luke, what are we hitting? I'm in between nine and eight with the wind. Nine and eight, yeah, I think it's up there, isn't it? It's probably playing 140, this, I would say. Yeah, so I hit a nine yeah. iron about 135, I'd say. Yeah. Eight iron about 145, so I think the eight iron feels like the, yeah. the safer option. There's trouble at the front and you've got a bit of room beyond that flag. Yep. Your ball's down in place, so. Oh, thank you. Return yours. Thank you. Okay. I missed you, friend. It's <laughs> never seen a bush, that ball. Okay, so we've got a little bit of wind in two, so I'm going to hit an eight. Probably earth at the left-hand side of the pin. Oh, he's absolutely striped it. That is all over it. Nice. Nice. I'll, I'll, I'll play that one. I won't give you too many better than that. What happens if you get a hole in one in this? Does it count as mine or yours? <laughs> the tee shot I can tell you for free if I no, hit so it. If that, it. if that ball was in the air, then I was thinking, oh, I've had a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let the hitter claim it. Right, nine iron for me. A little three quarter. This looks good as well, Matt. Hit it wind, hit it. Ooh, back edge. Good though. Yeah. Didn't know whether to shout for and kill the cameraman then or not. <laughs> he never looked flustered. No. Nice shot there, Luke. Thank you, mate. I think I've given you a more test input than you've given me though. It's okay. It's on the dance floor. It's better than being in a bush again. <laughs> yeah. Steps in the right direction. I think a little bit of right to left and we're all good from here. All good. Simmer, 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 simmer. Ooh, bold. Bold down that slope. Gave that the old whack treatment then. <laughs> See, I'd still be relatively happy with that from that sort of distance. Is that out your way there? So no, that's you. fine. Let's see what you can do with this one. Another birdie put for him. It's a nice roll. Ooh. Yeah, it never started high enough. Two little knee knockers, I think. Get that flag out. That dirty yeah. flag. I think people think I'm rude, but I just literally never take it out. <laughs> It's one of those things that like, they did all the studies and said, oh no, you should be putting it in with it. And then now it's like, no, you shouldn't be. Right. It's uh, it's like every every couple of months they come out with like, no, eating steak's good for you. <laughs> I yeah. have heard both ways as far as the flag goes. Yeah, right, mm -hmm. tidy this up. I'll take me par and run away. Yeah, very nice. We'll take that off your tee shot. Very good tee shot, that. Thank you. Very well done. No problems. Nice three, sir. Right, Come scores on. stay the same. We move on. Yeah, what is it, two shot lead? Yeah. Interesting. Always got it in my back pocket if I need to. Things are getting a little dicey. I'll just throw him in a bush. These next shots will be interesting to see what Luke does here because they're, uh, they're difficult tee shots. Five are sh a short, par three, but you've got to got to be bob on and this one even though it's short you've still got to get it in play down here right well, i'm going to go four iron learnt my lesson with, lesson with the driver i think 286 this one Pretty yeah so if i can straight away put this up there 200 ish for you yeah i think that would just be... what you would normally do i think so yeah like yeah. you say if i take driver there's way too much uh, danger coming into play there's the um the two iron gives me a little bit more distance but it brings in the mulch in front because yeah. it's good for a top, is that club? Right. Um, or, you know, potentially too long. Particularly, mm. particularly if it goes right. Four irons feel safer. Nice. So we'll start it slightly left, I think. Hold your line. I think we're just going to be okay there. Yeah. Yeah. Short, so it's safe. Maybe I've just caught the semi, but it won't be an issue at all. I'm going to same club four iron, just for me, that bunker down there at two. 40 keep it shy and this if i was playing my own ball here would probably leave me about 100 i would say with this wind into today yeah which i like that number for a wedge so would you be thinking two steps ahead if you left yourself 100 with a wedge would you be thinking that's also with the wind 
So do I need a little yeah, bit more? Yeah, so I'm like, now, if I was playing, if I was teeing off now with this for myself, I'm thinking, where do I want to leave it to hit my next one for? Yes. So with this wind, 286, four irons, a 230 club. Yeah. So you're probably going to lose about 30 with this wind. Yeah. So I'm going to be roughly about 80 to 100 yards, depending yep. on where the flag is. Okay. And then with that wind, it'll play about 100. Yeah. Which will be a 50, which I like hitting like the three quarter shot with. So I'm just trying to fight, like put that into, yep. into play. Whether it happens is another issue. <laughs> Things don't go smoothly enough for me to uh, think that far ahead usually, so. Another good strike. Yeah, there awesome shot. I think that's what, where a lot of amateurs maybe fall down as well. They don't have a plan. Yeah. Think, oh, well, I'm not going to hit it great anyway, so I can't plan. But if you give yourself a bit of an idea of what you want to do, at least you're aiming towards something. That's the thing I've started to do a little bit more is sort of pre-plan misses. Yeah. If I can, yeah. you know, if I'm going to miss, where am I going to miss? And then yeah. what am I going to do from there a little bit more often? Yeah. And I think that is good for a couple of strokes, like regardless of what oh, level yeah. you're at. Oh, like so. course management will save you like five to 10 shots around yeah. if, you, if you're doing it well. Yeah. But not consistently enough to make a change for it. Yeah. Watch the, if you watch like, if you watch the, say the opening a couple of weeks. Yeah. Everyone's got a pre-shot routine. Yes. They'll either, whether they have a practice swing or not, they'll pick a target though. Yeah. And they'll line up to it. Yeah. You don't see them like with dodgy alignment, really, the no. pros. No. And they're generally like very good at the fundamentals, which is where maybe amateurs sometimes don't focus enough on those thinking, oh, it needs to be something a bit more grand to make me play better. But That's it, isn't it? Do the basic stuff consistently. Yeah. And you, you know, you can be okay. You don't have to be a phenomenal ball striker. Yeah. You just got to get it in play and then get it down there and yeah. chip and putt well. And it's a much easier game. This is one green where you can't actually leave it short. If you do, it's coming down the slope back at you. Yeah. One, one thirteen to the flag. That's probably playing the best part of one twenty. Five. Yeah. So I'm going to hit my 50, which is a 125 club, go over it, and it should come back a bit, all being well. Interestingly, here I'd be aiming beyond it. Yeah. Because that slope is scaring me from here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, the wind's just hit that now. It has. Got to get going. Still looks good, though. Oh, what a shot. Just there, isn't it, though? What a shot. Got away with that one, folks. Got away with it. Another fairway found. Lovely fairways at the moment. That irrigation they've had to put in is actually working a treat. Yeah, it's in great nick, isn't it? Uh, so I've got just under 80 yards. And that slope is scary. Planning. Yeah. So I'm going to try and hit like a 95-yard shot, I think, and just yeah. make sure I'm beyond the pin. Yeah, wind's, wind's in too as well, isn't it? Yeah. So. so it's 50, but it's probably about 90%. Nice shot. Yeah, safe as ours well is. Well done, yeah, perfect. A little bit of spin and back on that as well. All we needed. Well done. Thank you. Nice ball. Right, another birdie chance for you, Luke. I know, coming thick and fast at the minute. I'm not used to these at all. How are you finding it thus far? It's good. Yeah? The drives, yeah. Um, I think, hole to hole for me, the most anxiety inducing is a strong term but like the flip of the coin sort of aspect of my game is where am i going to be off the tee yeah most of the time sure. iron misses don't tend to be too bad yeah uh, wedge put and wedge game's not too bad even putting some days it's, it's the tee yeah jekyll and hyde really does sum it up feel a bit easier then oh yeah watching you cream one for me is uh, it's a nice experience <laughs> right so this is just off the right i think it's nice to sink one of these stay up well done, I'll give you that one. Take it away, sir. Right, come on. Try and claw one back. Oof. I knew that was going to do that. I didn't re-aim. Ah. Let me off the hook there. Yeah, well, it's another par. Stay two over. Luke's level par. We're on to a few tricky holes now off the old tee. This par three, next one, is unbelievable. Really? Yeah, it's class golf hole. Fantastic. Well, I'll try and put a good one in play for you, mate. I hope so, because the green's miniature. So the fifth hole here, gorgeous par three. Uphill, 
There is a bank left that you can see, obviously, that will kick the ball hopefully back towards it. Okay. Nothing for being right. Yeah. And you've got to get it up on the dance floor. Again, it's that sort of don't be sure. It's 118 today, the flag. So wind into it's probably playing the best part of 130, that. Yeah. I it would is. say. Yeah. But let's see what you've got. I'm, uh, I'm aiming beyond it. Yeah. Ethan's a nice target for me. Hopefully, yeah. if I clunk it on his head, yeah. I'm happy with yeah, that. That's fine. He's insured. If you give me a nice bounce. Wind blows just as you're about to hit. Always ideal. Open for that bounce. Oh, he's coming. Might just be in the little gap shy. Yeah, I don't think he got all the way down. No. Left me a bit of scrambling to do, sir. I'm going to go pitching wedge. This is me 135 club, so should be about right for a full blooded one. Aim a little bit left and let it come back, if anything. Oh, I've not got it. Needs to go. Needs to go. I think it's okay. Needs to go. Yeah. I can play from there, Matt. <sighs> That's a good bad one. <laughs> That's like there again, like clubbing up a bit more. 113 or 118 is a 55, but I've gone two up. Yeah. Hit a poor shot and I've got away with it. Yeah. That's the difference, I think, with amateurs as well. Sometimes. Was that a little thin then, that one? Yeah, that was nearly a shank. Yeah. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> Luke's left me in the, the little bit of fescue over here. It's good, even from my perspective, like, it's interesting, like, some of the spots that I've never been here on this course before. It's actually, <laughs> it's good to, like, see what goes on and what scenarios... All right, I'll find them for you. ...the amateur finds themselves in. Like, now, this is a tricky... Got a little bit of a ledge to get up over. Just got to get it on the green and get it running, but then, obviously, you've got the big fall away, so that would probably play into people's minds, so... A lot of commitment needed here. Should, it's actually sat okay, so it should pop out pretty well. Just get the 60 in. Lob I, it onto there and let it trickle up. I'd be leaving this shot all day. Oh, no. Not enough speed. Not enough speed and commitment, Matthew. He's giving me a chance. Just shows it's not about distance, it's about the short stuff as well. Those are the shots where Convincing yourself not to quit on that is harder than actually playing the shot, isn't it? Yeah, it's that having a clear picture in your mind of what you want to do, not what you don't want to do. Exactly. And if you look up and all you can see is a drop-off, <laughs> nightmares. We're getting closer. Nice. We're getting closer. There's a birdie coming, I can feel it. Tick like in or out, sir? Uh, out, please. Right, need to make this happen. He was bold. It was pacey. Woo! Strange, these balls feel like they spring off the face. <laughs> That's my excuse for today. Right, come on, tidy up. That was brutal. Yeah, didn't hit it hard enough. Right, cheeky double for me. Five over, we go to, what am I now? four over par and Luke is level par just enjoying the reap reaping the rewards of the tee shots it's easy when your ball's in play off the tee though isn't it yeah <laughs> yeah feel he for says. everyone now feel for all the amateurs out there right the sixth hole is 405 yards an interesting one this Luke we've got a bunker at 185 to cover it is a dog leg sweeping from right to left then there are some traps in the distance that start at about 240 and go up to 260 anywhere in play on the fairway is ideal. Yeah. Um, the bush isn't. Right, so I'm hitting two iron. Yeah. And I will apologise if this ends up somewhere funky. <laughs> Lovely, how far does this normally fly, this club? Uh, 200's usually good for, a good hit. Yeah. I mean, any, anything from 20 to 200, really. Oh, right. Filling us with confidence there. <laughs> so I'm going to aim at the bunker. Yeah, I think that's good. Push, the wind's pushing us down, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll see what you've got. It'll be the first time I've hit something that I've aimed at. Nice, down the right side of the fairway. Yeah, very healy, that one. It's good though, it's in play like the, you know, one of the defaults I would see from some amateurs here. Yeah. Because it says stroke one and because it's 400 yards, get the driver out. That's it. Even when it's like quite a daunting shot, isn't it? Because you sort of sweep, you can't see yeah. a lot. Particularly for someone who plays off my sort of handicap, this yeah. does not suit their no. driver shape. No, exactly, yeah, for even <laughs> me, like I like to fade it. And now I'm just going to go at the middle bunker and just try and fade it. Don't try and yeah. 
let the hole dictate what I do. I'm going to try and fit my shape to, yeah. to this hole. Let's see if we can get you in play again. Wind's got it now, so it's just pushing it. Sit. That is oh, yeah, A1. That's smoked, all right. Yeah. It's literally the best I've ever teed off around this place. Well, yeah, you, you must be 150 <laughs> yards in front of yeah. my ball. Right, on we go. Be a different hole from where I'm playing from. I'm quite excited <laughs> to see what I'm going in here with. This is a different hole for me today. I've got 230 yards in. You need the binoculars to see you've, your ball. You've got, I reckon, about 120 in. Yeah. 230, downwind, luckily. That flag looks sort of back. So it's going to be two, 210 onto the front, down the wind. No. Uh, maybe seven iron yeah that's a one one eight five club so that's going to fly an extra maybe 15 20 so it should theoretically with this wind bounce up a little bit six iron flies 195 so that might just be a bit too much carry we'll go seven and even if it is a tad short i don't mind that miss because it is junk all over the back of this green okay good to know Miss that trap, miss that trap. Bounce it. Oh. Nose dived in. Yeah, got it a little bit here, getting a bit Healy strikes today. So we're up in the front trap. That is a it's completely watching, different hole. It's probably watching too much of me, mate. If I ever put the impact <laughs> spray on my irons, it varies from hosel to center of the club and nowhere in nowhere beyond else. that. Yeah. You could sell your irons toe unused. <laughs> yeah, completely new. <laughs> what was your guess, Matt? 120, I reckon the flag was, but yeah, it's gonna be 126. Pretty good guess. Call me Eagle Eye. Ah! It's probably a 50 degree for me, this probably hit that about 110 normally. Yeah, so landing it a little bit shy of the flag, one bounce, and it should. Yeah, that's the thing, It should come up. Close. Centre, centre of the green would be ideal. Beautiful shot. Push it a bit, push it a bit. Ooh. Oh, it just died there, didn't it? Yeah. Again, that's that back to that short. Talk, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's up. Good strike, hit it really well. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Probably didn't fully commit at it. Yeah. I think the wind was scaring me a little bit. Yeah. You're on the dance floor. Yeah. Got the pace of the greens. Let's Put see if you can make hand. another pair. Ah, we have found said bunker. Quite compact, wet sand, which is nice. Gives it a bit more of a thud out here. I'm going to fly it probably 70% of the way. A couple of bounces and it'll trickle down. What Job. do you use here then? A I've six, got 60, yeah, 60, for this yeah. one. If it was any longer, I'd probably have my 55 yeah. out and try and run it a bit more, but yeah. with how it's sat so nicely, I'm gonna hopefully land it before that little ridge and it'll a couple of bounces and just trickle down there. Could play this like if it was, depending like lip height, play it like a nine iron, just yeah. duff and run it up there, but. Yeah. Oh, Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Just didn't dig down enough and just bounced it in. That is my worst nightmare with bunkers is when you step into them in the hard. Yeah. Uh, jackknifing it across the back of the green. Yeah. I'm, I'm good for one of them. That was, Yeah. But, uh, a lot of people have done that. Terrifying, watching. terrifying. I should have used the leading edge a bit more there. Oh well, let's go and make a treble. Right, this is up, down, left, right, all over the place. I'm trying to read this is, uh, next to impossible for someone of my standard I'd say so I'm just going to try and give it a good old punt in the general direction and go from there I think this Ooh, is looking good there. this is looking very good oh that was a total Great fluke pot. we won't tell him we'll pretend we read the whole thing we'll take that we have found the heather not ideal didn't use the leading edge to open that sand up enough then but try and do something spectacular so we're not dropping too many shots here oh, no it's just grabbed the club and just flipped it yeah, completely that was awful i was about to say you've had some practice earlier but this is uh you could spend all day in that stuff and not get any better this is quite hard work this <laughs> I thought, ah, it'd be easy, this. <laughs> yeah, can't put me in too much mither. I put myself in the mither that oh, yeah. time. Taking you back to your beginner days. The game will humble you sometimes, mm. <laughs> Egbert. So this is now my fifth shot. Could be going double-double here. How's he? 
Oh, oh. very nice. Well, that is good for me. After that good hack session, yeah, that's sure. a six from the fairway. Showed a bit of class there, though. Yeah. Do you want it left in? Uh, no, you can leave it out. Let's have it out. Right, this is for Luke to really just, just having a great day out here. Sun's out now. Formby ladies finding fairways, finding greens. Oh, oh unfortunate. Unfortunate. Not bad though, it's just that it was the more the iron shot, wasn't it, that diddled you there? Yeah, it was. Could have got it up a bit closer and you yes. leave yourself such a long putt. First putt was good, just. The lag putt was as good as I was ever going to hit, to be honest, yeah. though, so it's just yeah. a shame about this happening. Hey ho, you just dropped a shot, I dropped another two there, more my fault from that that distance, but it became a very a very hard hole, sort of 220 in, but. Well, it's a tricky one. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Six over, one over. Now we get to the seventh, which is 250 into the wind. Bit of a risk and reward hole here. Bunker at one, 160 to get over. Yeah. And then um, some down by the green side. Yeah. I'd be happy to put you in those green ones by the green side. I'd be pleased with that. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd I don't think it. I'll get you there, but yeah, I'll give it a go. Getting the big dog out. No. Oh. No. I think right. safe one's far right in it, in between them. Off where you've hit all your tee shots now. Yeah. What do you reckon you would have been score wise? Oh, that's a good question. Um, first one you had a bit of mare with, didn't you? The second hole, sorry. Second you had hole, a bit yeah. Of mare with. I, I would have definitely had a mare with that. Yeah. Um, would you be better than six over or worse? Probably a little worse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's one of them. Your tee shots are so consistent, or I've been today, I don't yeah. know if that's representative. Yeah, generally. It doesn't put, you don't get yourself into too many situations where you are scrambling, I guess. Yeah. So I, you don't get much practice at it, do you? Whereas oh, I'm yeah. used to like, playing some of those shots yeah, you play some, today. Yeah, different ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's a weird one. All straight in it. Get over. Stay shy. Yeah, just I short. Think it's short it's of okay. it, yeah. Very loopy. Yeah, it's okay. So even that, like to me, was an interesting choice again. It's probably playing 180-ish, that that bunker, with the wind. Yeah. So probably a four iron distance, really, for you, isn't it? Puts it right on the money sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you either go by it or you take it completely out of play. Yeah. Instead of like there when the ball's in the air, you're thinking, oh, God. I think my judgment of wind is uh, an underdeveloped skill. Don't yeah. play in much wind. Yeah. So, yeah, that's gone a lot shorter than I would have expected it to, I think. It's a cracking shape. There you go. Awesome. Nice little flick across to the green now. On average, how many fairways do you think you did off the tee? My percentage, so like with all the shot scope stuff we use, yeah. um, I'm like, I think for the season, in fact, I'll tell you in one second, I think I'm around about 67%. Right, I had 70 in my head. I, uh, I'm a lot better with like a hybrid than a driver. Okay. I can get good distance out of it and find the fairways, but give me one moment. So, so my tee shot, yeah. 51% fairway, 25% right rough, 22% left rough, other percentage wild. Um, that's with driver and everything though. Yeah. Driver, I'm a little, I was struggling with getting it in play a little bit, but around here, if I'm hitting an iron or a hybrid, one thing that we've learned playing this place for quite a few years now is that driver's not always the answer no. around here. See, it's funny because you said 70% and I bet that falls into the category of... Tour yes, plays like 67. Some of that's rough, but it's perfectly playable rough. Yeah, yeah, like, like if, you, if we were talking semi, I'd probably be yeah, yeah. quite high up yeah. there. But yeah, 51. Trying to improve today is 100%. Yeah, you've not missed one. <laughs> 102 to the flag. It's got about 10 yards maybe over that bunker. Little 50 here, knock it down a bit. Can give it nearly all of it. Wind's a little bit more off the right as well. Let's see if I can try and claw one of my shots back. Um, <laughs> well, that was indifferent. I had a total mind, I filmed a video with Faldo the other day and I was just thinking about what he said halfway through my swing and tried changing to do something <laughs> different and literally hit about six inches behind. Yeah. 
And well, I know that sound where it goes straight under the ball. Yeah, that was different. Let's give me a chance here, I'm in his head. Right, after not a very, uh, very good shot there, that's one thing I would say. Always have a plan before you actually hit it. Don't change it halfway during your downswing. Let's see if we can nip one in close. What, what are you thinking here? Is this a 60? I've got, yeah, I've got 60 because we're into the wind. There's, yeah. you know, not much space over the bunker, really. Not at all, So no. I want to try and land it about six or seven feet shy, a couple of bounces, and it should stop up pretty quick. This is one of them where the bunker's just calling to me. Yeah, I'm not really seeing that. Too much. Got yeah, the strike, just softly, thudded though. it through. Softly, softly. Oh dear, not my best work, Matthew. I think there was an anti-duff swing in there after the previous one. Not even it, driver. You could actually, on that one, you could put it and the slope <laughs> would take that in. Yeah, yeah, run round. What are you going with? 60. Yeah. You're confident with wedges though, aren't you, Sam? Yeah. And we, with one of these, as long as you err on the longer side, I always think. Like, I'd rather be where you are than in that bunker. Yeah. So. Yeah. Good, good idea. Yeah. Just nip it over, stay confident, see where it finishes. Off in it. Oh dear. Interesting. There, there is a chink in his armour. I feel like I've uh, been away from home. See how I do out of it. Now the real show starts, <laughs> This folks. is more like it. Feeling comfortable now. This is it, yeah. This is my natural <laughs> habitat, this. Yeah, it's thick. Very thick. This is just bump and see, really. Well done. Sit, sit, sit. Don't do it to me. <laughs> very fortunate. <laughs> yeah, very. Loop the loop. That shot there with that bunker in the way, that's probably one as you stood over it with your mind going, don't duff it in here, that's, don't. I think that's it, yeah. You uh, you can talk yourself a good game, but yeah. if you I actually you uh, concentrate earlier, on that you know, bunker. How good would you be with a better mental game? Finding those do's instead of the don'ts half the time, but we'll give this a roll. Let's see if we can try and make par after Senor Duffington's. Turn him, turn him. Yeah, it's good. Good pace, but a poor bogey, that one. Seven over par. Whew. Wild. Wild child. Needs to cosy this up. It's a good pace. It's a good pace. Very well done, sir. Thank you. I'll give you that one, it's a... Very kind little tap in not an ideal bogey but no what was that 15 yards in four shots yeah the scenic route yeah but that's how it goes sometimes <laughs> right two holes to go there's a five stroke difference i'm on seven luke's on two from my sort of perception it seems you know a 15 handicapper where he's been with the tee shot seems sort of very simple i would imagine doesn't doesn't look like he's really ever going to make a mistake from where he is so definitely getting it off the tee doesn't have to all be about distance. Yes, that helps, but just getting it in the short stuff each time would be a, a massive help. The eighth hole here is a par five, 433, straight into the teeth. We've got bunkers. I think the first one starts out at like 140, then there's another one down the right, about 180, and then we don't have anything till around about 300. With just, this with this wind, mate, I'm hoping to carry this 180. Yeah, let's get it down there, it see what you can do. It looks pretty brutal, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I'll be aiming left for you this time and I will try and keep you yeah, in the fairway. I think the, if you're going to slicey that sort of crooked tree. V tree, yeah. Yeah, is yeah. A good line. that's the one I've got. Those traps, get out of them, get out of them. Just shy yeah. right of them, that's good. Little fade for me, just down the left side, see what we've got. Oh, I'm just gonna pull it. It's totally unaffected, wasn't it? Went straight left. Yeah, I'll just hit another one, just in case. Faldo's messed with my mind here. All I'm thinking about is my shoulders now. Yeah, loads better. Polar opposites. That's okay, but that's why we don't get driver out that much. <laughs> um, we've got a heck of a way here. <laughs> I think it went more up than it did forward. Yeah, the wind just battered it, didn't it? So we've actually got into this hole 290 Miles. yards. That's playing about 350. So if I can hit something like 220, maybe I should have about a hundred yard pitch. I'm going to get me trusty rescue out. That'll clear that bunker down on the left. That's like 150 from us, 160. Yeah. So this should 
leave you Get a wedge past in. it all, yeah, and leave me something to pitch in with. There we go again, just not thinking as I'm stood over it. It's yes. okay. Yeah, I've seen it down. Never played this uh, par five as a three shotter. It's quite, quite enjoyable. Wind's picking up, isn't it? <laughs> it is getting windier. A uh, hundred I've got left in, and seeing how the wind has just battered your golf ball, I'm going to hit a, a wedge. Normally it's like a, a 55 three quarter shot, but we're going to go up. Yeah, that went nowhere. Now and sort of chip it a little less speed equals a little less spin. It means it's not going to get as harmed as much. Oh, I'm going to get a flyer out of the rough. Yeah, it's had long. Yeah, just literally got a bit of grass in between the face and then it came out with no spin. <laughs> but chipping a putt and we're okay. Yeah, it's taxing is this one. Ooh. It's gone left on me. Oh dear. Uh, gone? Um, yeah, it's not great down there. Is it not? Yeah, have another one. Drop and play a provisional. So. There we go. Back in play, hit two, drop three, playing four. So that'll be your fifth shot after that one. 130 left, this wind is howling. So I'm actually gonna play this like a 155 shot, 160 shot really. If it goes long, so be it, but I just don't think I'm gonna get it there otherwise. Lovely strike. It's gone right on me. Yeah, still short That's though. Shag. Shows you how bad that wind is. I'm getting a bit of deja vu here, it's not anywhere near as nice as the last hole, but it's uh, straight over a bunker. Uh, so I'm going to try and not make the same mistake I made last time. Great shot. <laughs> By the skin of its teeth. It's actually worked out really well, but a little close for comfort, that one. Right, land this on the green, a little bit of run. It is going down the wind, so that should push it a little bit towards the target. Is that nice? Little 55. Ah, uh, very nice. Even that's run on a little bit, crikey. But, a little putt for par and we're okay. It becomes such a different golf course, playing it off someone else's drives. It's actually quite fun to see it from a, a different aspect today. Left in, I presume? Uh, yes, please. I need a windshield for my eyes in this. It's got constant tears. Yours rolled a little further than I thought it was gonna. Yeah, that wind just pushed it on a tad. Get up. Oh, you gotta hit him. Thank you, mate. So you hit two, One. drop three, played four, five, six, eight. That Dropped was rough. Three shots. That was rough. What lead did I have going into this? Five. Ouch. Wee. Never in doubt. Well, a par after the adventures there. That Never in closes doubt. Closes the gap to just two shots now, five over and seven over. Right, yeah, this is a, an interesting one, this hole. 319 yards the ninth hole and you sort of run out of fairway then you go up through the mounds onto the green yeah so the run out of the fairways um 220 because you've got a 120 shot in from there so okay to leave it down there there's no real obstacles to avoid it's just keep it straight yeah yeah <laughs> keep it in play yeah so it's too off you go what are you gonna take a nice iron for right? yeah I, i've been hitting driver recently off here and it's not done me very well no but i might do this time who knows? We'll see. See it's how we feel. Actually, just stitch me up. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to hit rescue because I've been hitting that very well off the peg. Okay. I'm going to try and give you at least a look in, mate. Great ball. Nice strike. Yeah. Yeah. That will do. All going right today. It's a bloody beauty. It's a bloody beauty. Right. Let's put you in play again. See what you can do. Yeah, it's nice. Very good. There we good. go. The fairway finding machine this Could thing. not ask for a better tee shot. 30. I'm an advert for you, lads. <laughs> 159 flag. 159 into the wind, out of the rough. I'm going to hit eight iron because I know even if it does land short, it can bounce up a little bit. See if we can... What do you do... carry that normally? Pardon? What do you carry that normally? This is a 165 club. Okay. So out of that, I think it's going to come out with no spin looking at how that's yeah, sat. Yeah. So I'm, I'm banking on that a little bit. And it has come out with no spin. As it's an arrow. Wind killed it. it though. Oh, that's that going to be, be a tad good. shy, I think. That could be good. 
That's pressure on, that is. Whew. We big finally game. got it, folks. Big game player. How far have we got then, Luke? 117. 117. This is a trust exercise, isn't it? Blind shot. Really is, isn't it? Thinking nine iron. Yeah, yeah. trying to pick a line. You can see, it? see the furs, there's like that little bit poking up. Yeah. Over the yellow flowers. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's where the flag is. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Everything's been going right. So I'm just going to err on the left side. It's a beautiful strike. It's looking tasty. Is Get it shuttling. short? Just shy of the green. It was yeah. right on line. Oh, it felt a bit short as soon as it yeah. left the club. That's one Game big on. takeaway from today, isn't it? Like, you've still, I think, you know, getting it in play, yes. Yeah. But that's only half the job. Really is. You know, you're chipping and putting. Your putting's been very good. Chipping's been pretty decent, that one iffy one. one yeah. But then, like, clubbing. Yeah. Like, not hit one shot past the flag, I don't think. All day. Yeah. yeah. Which then starts to... It's almost like a mental barrier. Yeah. I don't want to hit it past for yeah. some reason. It's like, like there's a wall at the flag yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's probably 20 yards on that flag. Yeah. So it's like starting to do that. That's where like your watch would come in handy. Yeah. Looking at the back distance and yeah. playing to that all the time, you'd probably get close to being. It's like it's, it's what you were saying earlier. Like um, you go with the distance of the one in ten that you hit. Yeah. It. Yeah. Exactly. Not, not, the, not the five out of ten that you hit it. Exactly. Two eggs a tad shy. How have you found it? You thought it'd be e is it easier? Well, I found the course tough. Yeah. Wind's tough. Yeah. yeah. But I would definitely be a lot further over par yeah. than my tee shots, yeah. no problem. But yeah, I think you're right. I think you've probably caught me on a good day with some of my other aspects of my game, yeah. particularly putting. Yeah. Um, so it could have been worse on another day, yeah. but it definitely makes a massive help. Yeah, getting it in the play. Even extra distance, extra yeah. distance. You've got extra distance and extra accuracy. Yeah. And it's a, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a big help. Travel. Yeah, it was bobbling, bobbling, bobbling. Yeah. Oh, well judged. Pressure put. I've only got two shots to play with here. Travel. Oh, he's left himself a knee knocker. The old knee knocker -ino. A little knee knocker Oh, no. Tap it in. Tap it in. What, what's that? Wow, that's... Six. Yeah. Takes you to seven over par. And this is for... Seven over par. Wow. <laughs> How's, how's your bottle? Half full. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, crikey. <laughs> well, that was that. Absolutely loved it. Great Guys, day, mate. hope you learned a little bit something there. It's not all about the distance and the action. You've got to have every aspect of your game. A you really big have. thank you to Luke for coming on. Thanks for having If you're not already, go and check out the Up and Down Golf channel. Formby ladies, beautiful as always. We'll see you in another video soon. Take care.